If you're using Kittle to make great looking artwork, you may notice right at the top, there's this little thing here called artboard. You might be wondering, what is that? Well, in this video, I'm gonna break this down. What an artboard is, how you can make more of them, how you can tweak the artboard, move it around, why it's there, and I'll go through some tips and tricks on how you can maximize the effective use of an artboard. This should be a fun one. Let's jump in. If this is your first time using Kittle or looking at Kittle, or if you've never heard of Kittle before, today's your lucky day. Kittle's really cool. There's a ton of different templates you can use, as well as creating designs from scratch. So here's an example. I'm going to click on this design, and you'll see that I can click inside of it, and I can move things around. I can change the text. It's extremely easy and very fun. So in this video, I'm going to talk about this right here. This is called an artboard. And when I click on it, you're gonna see the artboard size comes up on the right hand side. You can see there's a custom size, the width, the size, and you can see there's a bunch of layers now down at the bottom. And it's right here at the top. You can see I can minimize the layer. I can also maximize the layer. And this skull funk layer is the artboard. When I click off the little eyeball button, you'll see the entire artboard now disappears. If you like what you see in this video, make sure to click on the link in the video description below. There's a Kittle subscription package that I think is a great value. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link and that just means that if you click on the link and you wind up purchasing the Kittle subscription, I would receive a small commission. The first thing I want to point out is that you can move the artboard around. This is right here, the artboard, the entire board. And what I'm doing is I'm clicking right on the name of the artboard. So you can just move it around. You can actually create a new artboard as well. So right here at the top, you're going to see a K and then the name of the actual artboard. Well, right here, there's an artboard button. It's a little, looks like a little tic-tac-toe. When I click on it, it's going to create another artboard. So now I've got two artboards that I can use. I can make this a different size if I want. So if I click on the artboard itself and I want to move it, I can also make the artboard a different size. It doesn't change the design, but it'll change the artboard. If you go on the left-hand side, you can make it wider. The right-hand side, you can make it wider. You can also go top, make it taller or shorter. If you do the angles in the corners, it'll keep the aspect ratio the same and you could make it larger or smaller. And you'll notice when I do this, it'll change down at the bottom. The actual pixels that make up the artboard will change as well. So you can make these now fitting inside of the screen however you would like. If you do zoom in, by the way, too much, so you'll see here now I've zoomed in 65% and this is now, I can't even see where my design is. There's a nice little shortcut. It's the shift key and then the number one key. And that'll push it right back so you zoom right back in. Shift plus number one. And what I like about this now is you can move things from one artboard to another. You could take this now and you could drag it in to artboard number three, for example. You could take this text, you can move it into artboard number two, for example. It's a little bit tough to see because of the yellow font, but that's okay. I'm going to click on artboard number two, and now the background color, I'll make it the same by clicking the eyedropper tool, and I'll make this now the same color. Same thing with artboard number three, I'll click artboard number three, background color, and the eyedropper tool, I'll make that now black as well. If you'd like to copy this over, you can do so pretty easily. You can just hold down the Alt key. You can actually move a copy of it right into the different artboards. So here's an example of a template that you can set up. There's the thumbnail, an Instagram, which is 1080 by 1080, an Instagram portrait, an Instagram story, and an Instagram landscape. And if I zoom in, I'm going to click on the little zoom button down here, and I can go in and I can click on anything inside and I can move this around. You'll notice it's the same type of font. It's the same information. So what you could do, for example, is you could replace the image if you were, say, coming up with your own album or your own music. So I'm going to use this cello, for example. I'm going to move it into the first artboard and I'm going to make it a different color. I then remove out of the second artboard, I hit the delete key, and now here's where I'm going to copy this over. So you can see very quickly using the templates, you can make this work. Same thing here with the text. If I double click on the text, I can say new album, and then I can make this a bit wider. I can make this a tiny bit smaller font. I really like those vertical lines because they help me align my image. And then I can delete out the font. Click, delete, click, delete, click, delete. And then simply by holding down the Alt key, I can move these over now and I could center these as needed. Very easy now to make multiple artboards all with the exact or very similar style images. Here's another example and you can move these 
templates around if you want to zoom in more. So I'm going to move this landscape down here, the Instagram story down here, and then I'm going to click Shift and then the number one key, and that will zoom it in a tiny bit more. There's a shortcuts button on the lower left hand side. When I click on it, you'll see Shift plus one is Fit View to Content, and then there's some other ones that are similar as well. Select all elements, Fit View to Selection. There's some dragging stuff over here. So check out these shortcuts. They're on the lower left hand side. They can be very helpful. So there's a lot of different styles of templates that you can look through. To use it, what you would do is simply click the template, and then it comes up on the screen. Then you can look for other templates if you wanted to add those as well. So for example, if you wanted to add this burn fire, I could click on it and it says add template to this project where you can create a new project or you can add to the current project. If I click add to current project, you'll see now the template has been added and it's actually sitting on top of the dino template. So you can see now I've got two artboards inside my project. I can make my dino one larger or smaller, or I can make my night one larger or smaller. So I'm going to remove this burn flyer night, and I'm going to just work on the dino independence one. So I'm going to click shift one. That's going to make this nice and big. And if I wanted to make the artboard larger, I'll click on the dino independence. I'll make the artboard larger to whatever size I want. And then if you want to make the design itself larger, simply do control A. Control A highlights everything. Now you can move everything inside the template. Simply hold down the shift key and click on the artboard. This now creates a select all feature where you've selected everything except the artboard. Now you can make this larger. The last thing I wanted to show you is that you can actually duplicate the artboard as well. And you can do this really easily. Simply click the artboard. So I clicked on Dino Independence. I right clicked, copy. Then I click outside of the artboard. I right click and I paste. That's going to give me a second identical artboard. So I can now change the size, I can make it larger, smaller, what have you. I really hope you found this walkthrough helpful. I love using Kittle. I'm a proud ambassador of the brand. Link in the video description. Make sure to check it out. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your print-on-demand journey using the powers of Kittle.